Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, so today we're finally going to open some Pau and Fates on camera. We've got a Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer box. When I tell you guys I'm pre-ordering this stuff, I'm honest with you. And we've got a mystery box. Now, I did want to wait till the end to show you what was in the mystery box, but I actually, I'm not allowed to, annoyingly. Because if we open up the mystery box, what's that? Powday and Fates. Yeah, the lovely folks at the Pokemon Company have sent me a Powday and Fates Elite Trainer box. But I need to, um, I need to disclose that this has been sent for free by the lovely folks at the Pokemon Company. And I need to do that fairly early on in the video, or else I could get myself in a little bit of trouble. So as much as I would like to leave the mystery box as a surprise for later on in the video, that could actually get me in trouble if I do. So, we have two Pound and Fates Elite Trainer Boxes we need to be opening here. And I, for one, am delighted. We'll start normal, we'll finish off Pokemon Center exclusive, and we'll have to go at a little bit of a speed here, because we've got a lot of packs to open. I did actually open some Pound and Fates already at the Liverpool Regional Championships this past weekend. I bought a Houndstone Text Ticker Collection. I got a regular Toad Scrawly X and a regular Noiverny X. That was it. Those were my pulls. Hey ho, you can't win them all. So shout out to the lovely folks at Pokemon for being nice and sending this out. And then we've got the usual thing going on here. We've got a booklet which is showing you about the set and then we don't really need a full set list now it's already out when we when i get these early which happens with some sets i am always making sure to you know really show you the full set list make sure you all have time to screenshot it etc so i can really share that information with you not so important it turns out when the set's already out so here is the mimikyu promo it is the lovely Mitsuhiro Rita Illustration Rare. Remember, there would be four Illustration Rares in the set. That's how many there would be. But, of course, we've taken one out to use it as a different one. Oh, that's different. The dice are not in a little pack anymore. They're actually in a little, um, little blister pack to keep them together. How lovely. Right. Let's worry less about that. Oh, there's too many things going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Too many things going on. What we've mostly got going on here is packs. We need to open some packs. Oh, there is not enough space on my desk. Really need to clean out my studio very badly. So, we need to open a bunch of packs. Let's open up a bunch of packs, shall we? See if we can't get some of them their amazing pulls. That would be nice. Because seriously, we pulled like nothing out of the tech sticker collection. That made me sad. That mime junior... Is a brand new card and it's Hagenosuke artwork. Clive is brand new. Ooh! And a Kato Illust uh, Rev Hollow. Very nice. Okay, Heat Rotom less exciting. But we started straight off not only with a shiny Pokemon, but a very nice shiny Pokemon. Batscalibur is definitely one of the most playable ones in the set. So that is very, very cool. I'm also a huge fan of Kato artwork. So getting the Rev Follow Kato Tandem House just makes me very happy. Cool. Nice start. See what else we can get here. Tell you what, we're opening a Dondozo pack. I would love to get me a shiny Dondozo. That would make me very happy indeed. So, we've got Paldean Students. That's a new card. The Kuramitsu Cottony is lovely. There's that Mime again. There's a Clive. Whimsicott. Scrafty. Oh, Rev Hollow Moonlight Hill is nice. Rev Hollow Pikachu is wonderful. Annihilate is less fun. Uh, of course, for those of you that don't know, my favourite artist in the Pokemon TCG is Okacheke. And that is an Okacheke Pikachu. Therefore, I want it as a reverse hollow. It's actually a straight reprint. Of the one that came around in Powder Evolved. But it's got a different set number and set name. So, therefore, I do need to get the Rev Hollow of this one as well. And now we've done it nice and early. No mucking about. I like it. So, first pack good. Second pack, well, we got the Okacheke Pikachu. That was nice. K 
can we go further? Looks like there might be something cool in this one. There's an electric generator. Set has a lot more reprints than we were led to believe. Oh, there is something nice in here. A Pidgeot EX, a shiny version. And then we finish off with a Rev of Room, which is less exciting. But we got Pidgeot EX. Of course, there aren't that many of the shiny EXs in the set. It's like a dozen or something along those lines. But then we've all... But this is a very playable one. It is Pidgeot EX. Sees a lot of play with Charizard. If you look at the last few events, last few proper tournaments, Charizard is like the most popular deck right now. Like, hands down, the most played deck. So, I do find that rather interesting. Right, sorry. Getting all caught up with myself here. Let's open some more packs, shall we? We've got lots of packs to open. I think we got 20 packs over the two boxes. That's rather lovely. So we've got the Lechonk, the Execute, the Electric Generator, the Swoobat, Gengar, Annihilate, Charmeleon's a good card. Oh, yes. That'll do, pig. Full Art Paldean Student. Nice. Very, very cool. Uh, it's the Violet. Remember, there is a Violet and a Scarlet. That is the Violet one. Oh, this is going beautifully. I am loving this. Pokemon have... They've been very nice. They've sent me a very nice box. I do sometimes get people who are suggesting that Pokemon are deliberately sending me, like, good boxes. And just seriously, if you understood the logistics of it, the idea that Pokemon actually would do that is absurd. It would take so much effort. Bambi just would not be worth it. So, no. Pokemon are not doing that. We've hit a shiny. Another shiny. And then, okay, it's an armor rouge to finish off. We've got ourselves a shiny Zartu. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely wonderful. So we've hit two shiny and a shiny EX and a full art supporter. And actually, not for nothing, we've only opened five packs. We've only opened five of the nine packs. And yet, somehow, we've already got all those hits. Bearing in mind from that tech sticker collection I opened, two regular EXs and nothing better. We actually haven't opened a regular EX here because we've been too busy opening stuff that's better. Nice. There's a Moonlit Hill. There is a Don fan. There's Atticus. Very cool card. We've got Mousehold. Fresh's Research. And a Golden Go. Uh, actually a brand new card in the set. I did put it on my top 10 cards of Paladay and Fates. Which I would encourage you guys to check out. It's a weird set, right? Because on the one hand, it, it's not the most competitive set ever. And, you know, I'm, I'm never pretending it is. But there are some cheeky little cards in this set, which I do think could be kind of fun. There's also a lot of reprints I wasn't expecting, which is kind of awesome. Oh, technical machine. Ah, oh, regular Squawker, Billy. My boy Squawks. And it's just a regular EX. It's a straight reprint of a regular EX. But again, Pokemon are starting to do well, like what they were doing back in, in, in these Japanese special sets. They're not just reprinting these random EXs. Squawkabilly is a very good card. that sees a lot of play and is a staple in a lot of decks. It makes sense that Squawkabilly would be the one that they would reprint. So good on them. There's your Pikachu again. There's your Paldean Student. There's your Moonlit Hill. There's your Donphan. Atticus, Camerupt, Golden Go, ah, just a regular Raichu. That's the thing, even with these pull rates, and the pull rates in this set are lovely, even with the pull rates, there are still, unfortunately, going to be some packs which are, well, less than ideal. You are still going to get some packs that have no hits in, not even in the X, as it turns out. Whereas, like, Chinese Treasures EX in Japan, the Japanese equivalent you are guaranteed to get at least an EX. Well, you get like two hollows and an EX minimum. And a reverse hollow. Oh, yes! 
Okay, that is one of my absolute favourites. This is one of the ones I most wanted. It is Shiny Tandem Mouse. I just love Tandem Mouse, honestly. There are some also some weird ones like Scoville and there's a Pokemon I don't really like. But because it's done by Yoko Cheka, I really desperately want it. And we'll be making sure I get it. So. I mean, look. From nine packs. Even if you don't include the EX. Although we should. Three regular shinies. A shiny EX. And a full art supporter in nine packs. This is my kind of set, ladies and gentlemen. This is my kind of set. But that was the regular Elite Trainer Box. We have not yet opened the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Now, this one is not from Pokemon. This one was just my pre-order that I put in. I told you guys I pre-order these because I want the Pokemon Center stamps promo. I've been extremely clear about that. Now, the player's guide should be, I imagine, exactly the same. So we don't need to worry too much about that. And the contents are, again, going to be pretty much exactly the same. There are two differences between a regular and a Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Two extra packs. And you get yourself an extra promo. So here there are two promos. One is the regular. But you'll notice, here we go. Look, it's got a Pokemon Center stamp on it. Simple as that. Jobs are good and... Other than that, they're exactly the same. And obviously, you know, like the packaging. But there are two differences. You get a second promo, this time with a stamp. And you get yourself an extra pack. So we've been going a little while with these. But, you know, got a bunch of packs to open. We're going to go nice and quickly through these ones. We did pretty well out of the regular Elite Trainer Box. What can we get with a Pokemon Center exclusive? It's two extra packs. Should be extra hits, shouldn't it? Um, oh, that's a nice start. We hit ourselves the Illustration Rare Wug Trio. Remember I said there's only four in the set. Poor me and Palafin being the other two. So that is a very, very nice start. Pack number one and Illustration Rare. This is nice. The only type of card we haven't got now is a special Illustration Rare. I want a gold, I suppose. They are the two rarest kinds. I would like one of those special illustration rares, though. I'm going to be honest with you. That would make me very happy. we got a Ralts, a Charmander, and a Heat Rotom. Not sure if anyone is getting particularly excited about pulling a Heat Rotom. But you'll notice, like, Electric Generator's just been, like, randomly popped in this set. So... I'm just casually picking up like another playset of Electric Generator while I open these Elite Trainer boxes. Which is awesome. And makes me very happy indeed. So there's your Magma, there's your Fido, there's your Graplot. There's your Iono, another great card that's going to drive the price of that down. Baractus, Frigibax, and Great Tusk EX. This is one of the ones I wanted to pull. It's a brand new EX in the set. You got a few in there. You got Great Tusk, Iron Treads, Aspafra. These are brand new EXs, which are making their debut in the set. It is potentially borderline viable with Path to the Peak. The ability says you've got to discard the top five cards of your deck at the end of your turn. When we lose Path to the Peak, if we don't have something else to turn off its ability, it is pretty garbage. But while we got Path to the Peak, there is at least a chance. So, anything cool in here? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, my. oh, and a Red Follow Don Fan as well. Oh, I do like that Don Fan. That Don Fan makes me happy. We need to have a look at this Mew, don't we? This Mew is beautiful. Uh, where am I putting the cool reverse hollows? Not on that pile. Are they on this pile? Yes, they are. Some of these reverse hollows are making me happy. Just like this Mew. Look at the Mew, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the Mew. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that is a fantastic card. So, we've already hit an Illustration Rare. And I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't just hit a Shiny EX. Like, the Shiny EX is in the set. There's two. There's Mew and Gardevoir. There isn't really a good argument for anything else being number one. 
but yeah, that is wonderful. It's a good hit. There's a Clive, Graveyard, and an Armour Rouge. Bit of a duff pack, I am afraid. Still haven't hit a regular shiny from this, so we're we're five packs in with two hits, and they're good hits. But we should be hitting some regular. We should be hitting at least a couple of regular shiny. You would think. You would hope. So let's see if we can get something cool here. There's your Frigidback, there's your Mousehold, there's your Moonlit Hill, there's a Charmeleon. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> it's an Arctobax, which goes with very nicely the Baxcalibur that I pulled in the other Elite Trainer box. It's kind of making me want to play Baxcalibur, except it's not, because as I told you all very clearly on the stream this weekend, I do not like playing that style of deck. It makes me very unhappy. Don't like it. Don't like it. There we go. Okay, so we've got a regular shiny, a shiny EX, an illustration rare. Not bad. Can we get a big hit? We didn't get a big hit from the regular Elite Trainer box. Would be nice to get one here. Something big? Nah, it's a golden goal, I'm afraid. So we do, we do seem to have had a few more no-hit packs here. Than we did with the one Pokemon sent us. And look, it's all completely random, of course. We know all of this. Uh, we got four packs left for what it's worth. We're seven in. So we've still got a good few chances to start hitting something extremely cool. Like this. Nope, another Duff Pack. Okay, so we've had a few of them with this one. And look, we got the two Mimikyu, which is lovely. And we have hit the shiny Arctobax. We've hit the shiny Mew, which is awesome. The Wug Trio illustration rare. So we've had some decent hits. But the numbers aren't coming out yet. We haven't had, like, the big hit. Can we have a big hit in this pack, maybe? I mean, Charizard would be nice. Just putting that out there. Wouldn't mind that. Or a Flamigo. Nice. This is another one of the ones I really wanted. I love Flamigo. My initial run through of Pokemon Violet, Flamigo was one of like the big Pokemon on my team. One of the ones that really carried me through the game. One of my best Pokemon. Put in a huge amount of work. It's still, incidentally, one of, you know, when I do raids and stuff or did the DLC, it's still one of my six main Pokemon. It's a very cool Pokemon. Love me some Flamigo. Right, we've not hit a special illustration rare yet. And I know, like, out of two Elite Trainer boxes, you're not really that likely to. But that doesn't matter. I want to hit one. Pade and Student. Cottony. Hey! It's the same Paldea Student. There is, remember, there is a, there's two different versions of this as a full art. There is Scarlet and Violet. But here, it is the same Violet one that we hit before. But I am also a Kuramitsu fan, so getting the reverse holo Kuramitsu Cottony is rather lovely. Okay, we're down to one pack remaining. Hang on a second. That's... Okay, so we actually do have both the Padea student, the different ones in Rev Holo now, which is kind of funky. And we got two versions, two copies of the same full art. So, final pack. So out of this Elite Trainer Box so far, we have hit ourselves two regular Shiny, an EX Shiny, an Illustration Rare, and a Full Art. Can we finish with some Last Pack Magic? Can we finish off with a Special Illustration Rare to make us feel very happy as we finish off? I'd like it, frankly. That would be awesome. We got that Pikachu again. We got Fampy. We got Whimsicott. We got Scrafty. Curlier, no. Okay, last chance, last chance. Oh, that's a Heat Rotom again. I feel like everyone's going to have like 50 different Heat Rotom. Never mind. Right, you know what? That was still not terribly bad. I mean, look, out of the second Elite Trainer box there, we did okay. And then that was from the first. So let's try and make these. So that's the Pokemon Center exclusive one. And this was the regular... So I do think the Pokemon Center exclusive did do a little bit better because we got the Mew over the Pidgeot and the Wug Trio. Kind of similar, honestly. I kind of like this. 
I get used to this powder and fake stuff. It's a cool set. Right, that's what you need to know. I've opened it. Now it's over to you guys. You know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Patreon. You know the deal. Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye.